A lot of different sled dog races going on this weekend. We've got the Cusk 300 in uh, Bethel Southwest, Alaska, taking off. Pete Kaiser, I think, is sort of the favorite. We are seeing Brent Sass, who's the last year's Iditarod champion, who's out there as well. He was just second in the Copper Basin and in the top three or four positions in the Connect 200 as well uh, this year in 2023. And uh, I believe the guy who's running Aaron Burmeister's, you know, I'm slipping his name in terms of my mind just because I'm not that familiar with it. But the guy who's running Aaron Burmeister's A-team who won the Kinect 200 is also out there in rural Alaska. They actually have to fly the dogs and fly their sled dog teams to get to Bethel in southwest Alaska to run that race. It's got a high purse, probably the highest purse of any of the mid-distance preliminary races for the Iditarod Trail sled dog race. And it's, you know, sort of uh, going going out into the bush. You know, that's where Mary Pelto is from, southwest Alaska, and the, the rural Alaska. Uh, indigenous, you know, history, culture, community, which is what, you know, a lot of the dogs see when they're out there in the Yukon River and out there on the coast, you know, getting off of the road system. So, you know, it's a race I ran once. And it was so cold out there, you know what I mean? Just dark, cold. It wasn't something where I have these great memories of it. Uh, it was just dark and cold. It just, you know, driving dogs and dark and cold on a river. But, you know, also I think the Bear Grease is going off. Willow 300, you know, down there in, in the States. And the Willow 300 race, Nick Petit, who won the Copper Basin, just won that as well. Uh, you know what I mean? In in the Madanuska Valley, they're just north of Wasilla and north of Anchorage, Alaska. And, you know, that is a race. It used to be like the Klondike 300, I think. Uh, you know, it's it's changed names, and, you know, and maybe it's a different, a different um, you know, race organization and staff, you know, those type of things happen. But, you know, South Central Alaska for 34 years has had some sort of a race like that. And uh, I think Sim Smith is another guy who's out there in, in, in the Costco this weekend. So, you know, haven't seen all the, all the lineups for any of these races. Uh, you know, I believe Ryan Reddington is not running the beer grease. He's got his uh, current wife or girlfriend and then another guy who's a handler. He's piling two different of his dog teams in the beer grease. And Keith Lee, who is a, you know, a, a mid-distance whiz kid, you know what I mean? And I remember seeing him, you know, win the races I was running when I was a little kid in the Lord 48, uh, who's now with Ryan Zex, you know, Aaron is, is piloting their eight teams. So there's, a, and there's the Wallens, you know, I, I glance, there's like 20 teams in the Bear Grease. Not as much of a purse, but still, you know, a fun and exciting weekend for mushing all across, uh, in the CH races going on as well.